Hey, this is Patrick Jackson from Learning Spanish Like Crazy dot com, back with some more Spanish language lessons for you. In today's Spanish language lesson, we're going to learn how to use the Spanish verb said to express personality characteristics. The Spanish verb said means to be. Now, make sure you watch this Spanish lesson to the end, to the very end, because at the end, I have two very special gifts for you. So let's jump right into it. As you can see, you can hide or show the text with the new Learning Spanish Like Crazy program. I prefer to hide the text because I think when you hide the text that really forces you to think in Spanish. It also helps to improve your Spanish pronunciation. Let's now learn one or more use of the verb ser while we continue learning how to conjugate the verb ser in the present. We also use the verb ser when talking about personality characteristics. Although one's personality can change, normally a person's personality does not change from one day to the next. Be sure that you do not confuse personality characteristics with moods. A person's mood can change quickly. When we're talking about moods, then we must use the verb estar. In a future lesson, we will teach the verb estar. Speaking to un amigo, this is how you say nice, as in, you're a nice person. Listen and repeat. Amable. Amable. ¿Cómo se dice nice? Amable. Amable. ¿Cómo se dice you are nice? Tú eres amable. Eres amable. And if speaking to Señor Rivera, how do you say, you are nice? Usted es amable. Listen to this phrase. Usted es muy amable. She just said, Usted es muy amable. Usted es muy amable means you are very nice. Listen and repeat the Spanish word for very. Muy. Muy. How do you say very? Muy. Muy. Speaking to a friend, how do you say, you are very nice? Eres muy amable. Now listen to these questions. ¿Y ella? ¿Ella es amable? Respond, yes, she's very nice. Sí, es muy amable. Now ask, is he nice? Él es amable? Listen to this response. No, él no es amable. Es muy grosero. She just said, es muy grosero. Él es muy grosero means he is very rude. Listen and repeat the Spanish word for rude. Grosero. Grosero. And if referring to a woman, how do you say rude? Grosera. Grosera. Speaking to un amigo, how do you say, you are rude? Tú eres grosero. Eres grosero. And if speaking to una amiga, how do you say, you are rude? Tú eres grosera. 
grosera. Eres grosera. Now tell her, you are very rude. Tú eres muy grosera. Now listen to these questions. ¿Y ellos? ¿Ellos son amables? Respond, no, they are not nice. No, ellos no son amables. Amables. No son amables. Say, they are rude. Ellos son groseros. Groseros. Son groseros. Again, how do you say, they are rude? Ellos son groseros. And if speaking about a group of women, how do you say, they are rude? Ellas son groseras. Groseras. Son groseras. Again, if speaking about a group of women, how do you say, they are rude? Ellas son groseras. Now listen to this question. ¿Tú eres grosero? Respond, no, I am not rude. No, no soy grosero. Now say, I am very nice. Soy muy amable. Now ask, and your wife? ¿Y tu esposa? Ask, is your wife very nice? ¿Tu esposa es muy amable? Listen to this response. Sí, mi esposa es muy amable. Es una persona muy generosa. He just said, es una persona muy generosa. Ella es una persona muy generosa means she is a very generous person. Listen and repeat the Spanish word for generous. Generoso. Generoso. And if referring to a woman, how do you say generous? Generosa. Generosa. How do you say you are generous? Tú eres generoso. Generoso. Eres generoso. And if speaking to an amiga, how do you say, you are very generous? Tú eres muy generosa. Now you say, but he isn't very generous. Pero él no es muy generoso. Now listen to this question. ¿Ustedes son generosos? Respond, yes, we are very generous. Sí, somos muy generosos. Generosos. Somos muy generosos. Now 
listen to this question. Y ellos, ellos son muy generosos. Respond. No, they are not very generous. No, ellos no son muy generosos. Now listen to the female Spanish speaker. Ellos no son generosos. Son muy tacaños. She just said, son muy tacaños. Ellos son muy tacaños means they are very cheap or they are very stingy. Listen and repeat the Spanish word for cheap or stingy. Tacaño. Tacaño. And if describing a woman, how do you say cheap or stingy? Tacaña. Tacaña. If you are at a restaurante in Latin America eating with un amigo who refuses to leave a propina or tip, how do you say, you're not very generous? Tú no eres muy generoso. Now say, you are stingy. Tú eres tacaño. And if speaking to una amiga, how do you say, you are stingy? Hola, this is Maria, one of the Spanish professors from Learning Spanish Like Crazy. I want to say gracias to you for watching our video. To show our appreciation, we want to give you an Amazon.com gift code. You can use your gift code to get a huge discount on learning Spanish like crazy. Now, to get instant access to your Amazon.com gift code, just go to learningspanishlikecrazy.com. Now, before you go, I have one more special gift for you. And that's a free copy of our Volcano Spanish program. Volcano Spanish will allow you to quickly add hundreds and hundreds of new words to your Spanish vocabulary just by using the English words that you already know. Volcano Spanish is an MP3 audio course, but we also include the PDF transcript of the program. So, go to learningspanishlikecrazy.com and get instant access to your Amazon.com gift code and your free copy of Volcano Spanish. ¡Hasta luego!